Today's Mary solutions are unable to keep up. Industry is looking for more bandwidth and more capacity. Additionally, there is a growing requirement to drive a comparable increase in storage performance for AI, ML, 5G, cloud computing, and IoT. These applications require enormous amount of data to be generated, stored, and analyzed at an unprecedented rate. Memory expansion capability and shared memory pools are some of the possible solutions. Hello, I'm Pankaj Kalra, Senior Product Planning Manager at Samsung Semiconductor. I'm very excited to share with you some encouraging developments regarding our upcoming products by highlighting their features and demonstrate the value they offer to real-world applications. We live in a world that is witnessing the massive growth of data-centric applications such as AI, ML, 5G, cloud computing, and IoT. These applications require enormous amount of data to be generated, stored, and analyzed at an unprecedented rate. This has created an insatiable demand for bandwidth, which in turn is pushing the limits of current memory and storage solutions. Today's memory solutions are unable to keep up. Industry is looking for more bandwidth and more capacity. Memory expansion capability and shared memory pools are some of the possible solutions. Additionally, there is a growing requirement to drive a comparable increase in storage performance for these data-intensive applications. Speaking of performance, let's start with advances in PCI bus technology. The PCI interface is now a critical backbone for moving data at high bandwidth between the host processor and connected devices. PCI interface also enables NVMe SSDs, the new industry standard for blazing fast storage. Now with the latest PCI 5, NVMe SSDs are going to get even faster. PCI 5 delivers 32 gigabit per second data transfer speed. That's twice the speed compared to the previous generation. Along with the bandwidth doubling, the specification offers some new features to enable faster link bring up and to reduce burst errors, thus improving link robustness. In addition, the upcoming interconnect technology, Compute Express Link or CXL, is also based on the PCI physical layer infrastructure with plug and play interoperability between PCI and CXL devices on a PCI slot. And with that, I am pleased to share the latest breakthrough from Samsung, the PM1743 SSD, featuring support for PCI 5 and built with Samsung's sixth generation of VNAND. The PM1743 delivers up to 13 gigabyte per second sequential read and 2.5 million IOPS random read performance, 5.2 gigabyte per second sequential write, and 250K IOPS random write performance. It's designed to handle heavy workloads to deliver unmatched performance with enhanced security features and data encryption. This new drive comes in two form factors, U.2 and E3.S, with wide range of capacities to suit the diverse needs of OEMs worldwide. Finally, the PM1743 can be divided into 128 separate virtual drives to achieve maximum utilization of the SSD's internal resources with minimum overhead. Samsung believes that built on the proven PCI framework, the PM1743 will support the mainstreaming of cloud computing, 5G, and AI. And now I would like to invite our friend, Ivan Lovachov, technical marketing engineer from Intel, to share the test results of Samsung PM1743 with their system. Hello, my name is Ivan, and I have the pleasure of doing an interoperability uh, showcase demo today for PCIe 5.0. In our setup today, uh, we'll be demonstrating a, a PCIe 5.0 32 giga transfers per second link. Our hardware setup consists of a Samsung SSD, an Astera Equinox 3 timer card, a Broadcom Atlas 2 switch, and an Archer uh, City platform that's housing a Sapphire Rapids root complex. First things first, we want to make sure that our link is uh, up and running and is at the right data rate. Uh, so we'll go ahead and verify that. Um, what we see here is the link tree. Um, and as we can see, we've got uh, the link going all the way from our root complex uh, down to our endpoint device, which is our Samsung SSD. Further verification of the link status confirms that our link is indeed operating at 32 giga transfers per second on both devices, which is the switch and the endpoint. This also implies that the retimer card is working as expected. We will go ahead and jump right into our demo here. Now, first things first, I do want to point out that we are using Iometer not as a benchmarking or a performance tool, 
but rather as a means of generating live traffic on this link. Since it's a lot better to have actual TLPs, um, potentially with payload, going across the link rather than uh, just some flow control and skip packets, since it does put a little more stress uh, on the link itself. Now, as we can see here, our data is going back and forth. Iometer is doing reads and writes, uh, which is good, because what that means is we have our packets going from our endpoint through the read timer card, through the switch, and into our root port, and then back. Now, in both cases, um, we see that there has been uh, no issues, no uh, link drops, and our verification at the end of the demo uh, will show that there has been no link degradation or link width degradation. This is very important for interoperability because uh, we have very different device classes working together and um, in different applications, you may have to combine a number of solutions for the optimal setup. Now that our demo has finished, we see no issues on our link. Great, I hope you enjoyed our demo and have a great day. Hello everyone, I'm Kapil Sethi from Samsung's DRAM product planning team. Let's talk about a new breakthrough interconnect technology called Compute Express Link or CXL. CXL is a high speed and low latency interconnect protocol for processors, accelerators, and memory expansion devices targeting high performance computational applications. It leverages industry standard PCIe physical interface in which the processor port dynamically auto negotiates to operate in a standard PCIe mode or in the new CXL mode. CXL is an open standard with broad industry support driven through the CXL consortium. CXL protocol defines three types of devices. A typical application for a type three device is memory expansion for the host. An important feature of the protocol is that it maintains memory coherency between the direct attached CPU memory and the memory on the CXL attached device. CXL technology allows memory expansion in systems besides regular DIMM slots and provides the capability to scale memory capacity to new levels. One important point to note is that CXL protocol is agnostic of the underlying memory technology. So it enables the adoption of various types of memories through the CXL interface. Adding memory capacity on a CXL link also increases the total memory bandwidth necessary for bandwidth intensive workloads, such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, and other like applications. CXL 2.0 spec supports switching for memory expansion. It also supports memory pooling, which allows sharing of memory resources across servers to increase the overall efficiency and to reduce system cost. Samsung recently unveiled the industry's first CXL standard memory module integrated with DDR5 technology. In fact, a proof of concept version of Samsung's CXL memory module has been successfully validated on multiple next generation server CPU platforms. By doing so, Samsung has taken a clear lead in the development of a CXL memory ecosystem. In addition to the CXL hardware innovation, Samsung has also introduced an open source software solution, the Scalable Memory Development Kit, also referred to as SMDK. SMDK is designed specifically to support the CXL memory platform. It enables the main memory and the CXL memory expander to work together seamlessly in a heterogeneous memory system and allows system developers to easily incorporate CXL memory into advanced systems without having to modify the existing application environments. Now, I would like to invite our friend Greg Pruitt, who is a distinguished engineer at Lenovo, to talk about the collaborative work done by Samsung and Lenovo to enable Samsung's PCIe 5.0 and CXL devices in Lenovo's system. Hi, I'm Greg Pruitt, and welcome to the Lenovo Innovation Center Lab in Raleigh, North Carolina. 
I'm here with David Cosby. He is our storage device subject matter expert. And we're gonna to talk to you about some of the collaboration that we're doing with Samsung. First off, we have here a prototype server. So this is not currently available to purchase yet, um, but it allows us to test some of these new technologies. So David, do you wanna talk about the new drive that you're working with Samsung on? Absolutely, we're excited to be working with Samsung on their new Gen 5 1743. This is obviously a prototype. It's twice as fast as Gen 4 technology. It allows you to restructure applications so you can have a lot more data very quickly accessible, up to a terabyte a minute at the maximum theoretical speeds. So uh, we're excited to be able to work with this. It's a challenge to implement it. Uh, the signal speeds have to be handled very carefully. The loss of high frequency signals are a challenge. It's exciting to be working together on this. Yeah, thank you, David. So one more thing I want to show you. This is actually a Samsung CXL memory expander. So CXL is the new Compute Express Link standard, and it allows you to actually have memory attached to PCI slots or PCI drive bays. So this is a 128 gig device, and you can expand memory on a server by inserting into the front drive bay of the server. <laughs> this is interesting technology also because of memory tiering. This allows us to have different types of memory devices, maybe high bandwidth devices or high capacity devices and provide different service levels to different types of workloads on the server. So we're really excited to be part of Samsung Day and be working together with Samsung on these new technologies. So why does all of this matter? Well, for one, having more memory slots and larger memory modules can actually enable lower cost memory configs and saving money is always good. But perhaps more interestingly, CXL memory can enable this notion of tiered memory, meaning that you can have memory of different types in the same server with different performance characteristics. So perhaps you need some high bandwidth memory or in-memory database to be able to you know, have the, the lowest latency or, or highest throughput for transactions. Uh, on the other hand, maybe you need some lower cost, high capacity memory, which could be very useful for analytics or big data. In the future, CXL 2.0 standards will actually enable remote memory, where you can have disaggregated memory or memory that can be shared between different servers. In terms of Gen 5, Gen 5 is uh, a significant boost from Gen 4, doubling the effective throughput. And uh, as you can see here from David Cosby's demo, he's showing the Samsung prototype drive running at 32 gigatransfers per second as the link speed. So thank you again to Samsung for hosting me. Really appreciate this great technology collaboration. Thank you. Hi everyone, I am Andrew Chen, Program Director in Memory Solution Lab at Samsung. Our team has been conducting research of CXL application in the past year. Today, we're excited to share with you our industry first integration of SAP HANA in-memory database running on Intel's Sapphire Rapid CPU. The success of this end-to-end -end integration validates CXL ecosystem for this new type of memory device. CXL specification 1.1, released two years ago, has already become a reality today. As a leader in memory industry, Samsung has announced CXL memory device with coherent load store interface. It creates many new opportunities for our IMDB customers to rebalance compute, memory capacity, power and performance in the data center. With new development of CXL specification 2.0 and 3.0, we will continue to collaborate with our industrial partners and customers in defining new CXL solutions for storage acceleration and memory pooling applications. Thank you for being part of our journey.